For the next 20 days, I will do whatever it takes to become the best golfer I can be. Simply because I've been slacking off. So for the last year or so, whenever I started this channel, I've been so focused on the quality of the video. The number started to get in my head. Yeah, just go from the start. Instead of the quality of my own golf game. So it's the start of June, we got a lot of golf tournaments coming up and I don't just want to get back to my formal self. I really want to start winning some of these things. So I compiled all the information I learned throughout my college golf days and put it into a 20 day concrete plan. Easy enough that all of you watching can follow along. But of course, before any of this, we need to run some tests so I can measure how much I actually improved. Happy freaking test day. There's nobody on the range. Couldn't ask for a better day to do this. We're gonna start with the driver and we're gonna hit 10 drives and see how many in a row we can get into that green tent. It's only about 15 yards wide, way smaller than a typical fairway. So I'll be surprised if I can get more than one. There's one. There's two. Three. What was that, three? Three or four? We're gonna have to check the numbers. Fortunately for me, it was only three because four would have been a near impossible score to beat. Now we're gonna move on to an iron test, hitting five balls to the five highlighted greens and see how many greens I can hit. On to the wedge test using the old Bushnell launch monitor. I'm hitting two shots to each of the five different targets and we're just going to add up the total distance away. I also color coded these so you can tell where my intended target was. Obviously that wasn't the best shot. Just like in real golf, the goal is for the total to be as close to zero as possible. And moving on to putting, if you follow me, you've probably seen this drill before, but if not, hit 10 lag putts going back to 30 feet. And the goal is to simply see how many we can get within the yardstick. And we will repeat the process for the uphill putts as well, which I surprisingly did worse on. All right, now we're gonna do some more shorter putts. We're gonna hit 10 10 footers and 10 four footers. Okay, last test of the day. It's a short game test. We're gonna do five pitches, five no brainers, five poppers, five long bunkers, five short bunkers, and five semi flops out of the rough. And just like in the wedge test, we added up the total distance away from the target with again the goal being zero. The plan was to end testing here, but I figured because I'm working out every day, I'll do a quick golf fitness test. Something I didn't realize until I started filming myself was my form kinda sucks. I mean, I got eight pull-ups here, but does this even count? What? And I was almost too embarrassed to put my push-up form in this video. What the hell? But, Still managed to get 38 of these Quasimodo Gollum Tommy Fleetwood looking maneuvers. And with testing done, I was ready for day one. All of the workouts you see me do in this video are a mixture of what I did in college, some stuff I taught on my own, and if you caught the last video, some work directly from the legendary Dr. Sean Burr. We shouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> then headed to the course, loosened up a bit, and got right into some mechanical work. Hit wedges for 20 minutes and finished up with some random shots going through the full routine. On to putting, similar to the range, I like to start off working on the mechanics and then branch out into drills. My favorite drill is to make 10 four footers in a row. I know it's super basic, but this is the perfect distance to make you feel uncomfortable. And once you get to the eighth, ninth one, you really start to feel some pressure. So this is one of my favorite chipping drills. All I'm trying to do is land the balls in each of the gates and do it consecutively. So I'll go in the first one, second one, third one. The goal is to do it all in a row. I'll try to spend 15, 20 minutes here, but mainly when I'm chipping, I want to focus on out of the rough and the bunkers. Cause if you think about a typical green, especially in the Northeast where I'm from, you usually have the throat of fairway and then everything is a surrounded by rough. I'll try to hit that third one there. 
nice. So what's with the tape? Ever since I saw Dr. Schomburg, I never realized how much I breathe through my mouth. He just blew my mind. Tell him what you told me. Listen up golfers, stop breathing through your mouth. This will stimulate your sympathetic nervous system. That's gonna speed things up. You have to close your mouth, breathe in through your nose, slow out your breath, in for four, out for four. That'll help you stay calm and focus on the course. And just like any other muscle, the more you use it, the stronger it gets. So the goal with the tape is it forces me to breathe through my nose and I want to get to a point where my nose is strong enough where it does it automatically and I can eventually just wane off it. As for yesterday, I rated it a 6 out of 10 and mainly that was due to lack of preparation. These last 20 minutes or so have been so luggish. I just gotta wake up, get it together, finish this practice out. On the range, I started to get hungry and irritable. And then when I went to chipping and putting, I really started to lose focus and I was more just kind of going through the motions instead of actually being present and learning from the practice session. As for today, it's a lower body day. We're going to be focusing more on the speed of the lift instead of how much weight I'm lifting. Because this is where all that power comes from. You want to be nice and explosive. And today I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to start with short game and then move over to the range so I have a good amount of energy for everything. So we're wrapping up today's session. Sorry if you can't really hear me, I left my mic at home. Anyway, all we have to do left is the wedges and a couple of random shots. Now you see me use this, but you definitely don't need that to get better at wedges. All I'm really doing is I have four wedges, a 60, 54, 50, and 46. And I'm just trying to see how far the ball is going when my arm is parallel to the ground. I know my 60 goes about 70 and I'm just making sure it's going that number. And then let's say I have 75 on the course, then I'll maybe swing parallel and a little bit more and it'll fly around that. Okay, that is a wrap for day two. It's just crazy. Once you can string together one to two legit practice sessions, how much better you'll feel. It's day three and the course is closed. So it's decided to spend most of it at Costco. Great news, it's Costco season! Costco season! I got some healthy muscle building foods and some snacks I can take on the course so I don't get tired when I'm out there practicing. In college, we would do yoga about once a week and you can ask anyone on the team, it was the hardest workout of the week every time. But once you're done with it, your body feels amazing. Your golf swing feels all synced up and you are ready to take on whatever workouts, whatever you're gonna strain your body with for the rest of the week, I promise you. That was one of the hardest ones I've ever done. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. These waffles alone have over 42 grams of protein, less than 500 calories, and under 15 grams of sugar. I mean, the extra syrup doesn't help, but we gotta splurge a little bit. So I get asked all the time, what does Happy Tuesday mean? And to be honest with you, it's just a term my college teammate and I used to say to each other. We both believed heavily in hard work and the process of getting better, so instead of looking forward to the weekends, we were looking forward to the harder days where we had to balance class, workouts, and sometimes four hour practices, because these are the days you get better. But as any competitive golfer knows, the process isn't always give and take. Can't keep hitting it like this. Just coming straight from the inside, flipping the hands over, hitting these chunky, nasty hooks. For the next 45 minutes or so, I'm just gonna focus on hitting these punchy four irons, trying to get on top of the ball. Everything else is on pause, putting and chipping until I figure this out. And with only one day left of training before the Ike qualifier, I needed to figure this out fast. The Ike is one of the best Northeast amateur events, and the first time I played in it eight years ago, I went up against this guy. And here's this, just in case you don't know who that is. And he made it! What a two for 
Cam Young at the last. He won the head that year by five, and on the first day, bested 16-year-old me by eight shots. But more importantly, this year, I didn't know if Tonight, we were going to be able to play. we are also keeping an eye on an air quality alert. Over Wildfires in Canada been have led to hazy from sky a in the area and now a prompted an air quality alert. Air. You can see just how hazy it is out here. <clears throat> it's not a great idea to be outside to begin with. So not going to spend four or five hours practicing today. We're on the putting green. The range is closed. They're out of caddies. I just can't let these things add up and get to me. I really just have to you know, stay calm. These things are gonna get other people. Got off to a pretty poor start, missing some short pots, and I was kind of just thrown for a loop with how quirky the course was. I didn't play a practice round. And how fast the greens were just in general. It was insane. And after missing this five footer to stay three over, I just started to completely spiral. Immediately followed this up with a double on the 10th and being six over through nine, I was frustrated and started making excuses. Whenever I get in this mental state, I just try to remind myself that everyone is playing the same course, just be a little mentally tougher than everybody else. And just like that, stuck in it, canned a couple of long birdie putts. and somehow snuck into the last possible spot with a five over 75. All right, day 12, Brandon Berry's in town, my teammate for five years, who's now a pro. I just finished up the Ike qualifier yesterday and I shot five over and it was a grind to shoot five over. Like I made like a, a couple 20 footers. So obviously my ball striking is not where it needs to be. I showed you my swing and did you want to say like what you saw? Yeah, so Brett's a tall guy, he's 6'4", um, easy for the hands to get high when that happens. And he is a good athlete too, so he was getting his hands high and then kind of doing a lot of manipulation with his hands and his body to get that club back, uh, what he would think was on plane, but was actually underneath. And then because of that, he was kind of getting a little inside and flipping, flipping which obviously causes a left miss which is said he, he said what his miss was i think um if like if you look at a lot of the best players in the world most of them just kind of turn their chest as hard as they can from the top of their swing yeah. and they shallow again the slot and then they keep the they don't really have much flip anyway i just wanted to get your opinion for the last 10 or so days i've just been training on the range pretty much every day and i would just lay down alignment sticks which is great but i think i need to incorporate much more encore stuff in mm -hmm. games and i just wanted to ask you if you can set your ideal perfect practice day what would you do yeah so i would probably putt for about 30 minutes then go hit balls for about an hour and in that hour of hitting balls i'd probably spend 30 minutes just on fundamentals with setup alignment whatnot and then i'd probably spend the other 30 minutes hitting a bunch of different shots that i think i'd hit on the course like if i wanted a low one i wanted a high one i wanted a three-quarter one whatnot then i'll go on the course and i've started to bring a couple more balls with me on the course and just kind of try different things out on the course because you know that's much better feedback than the range you yeah. get you get to go pick up your own ball you get to see exactly what happened you can figure out what went wrong what went right and you kind of just can build off that wish brandon good luck in the comments and thank you wanted to go to a public track today just to show you guys you don't need to be at a nice country club with good balls and grass to get better i used to come here all the time as a kid so it's bringing back a lot of good memories That's perfect, that's all you need. I got to hit a hundred or so balls and then the greens were fine. Yeah, they were a little bumpy, but you can find a straight putt and you can get your drills done. And then when it comes to chipping, all I'm really trying to do is land it in my landing spot. So when I go on the course, I can picture my landing spot and the greens don't really matter. We scooped up Rachel, say hi. So how do you feel about the 20 Tuesdays? Relaxed. <laughs> Rachel hates them because I'm on lockdown mode. I want my boyfriend back.
all fun aside, the 20 days were coming to an end, aligning perfectly with the New Jersey Open Qualifier. So I decided I definitely wanted a practice round after my experience with the Ike Qualifier and met up with former teammate Garrett, who's also playing in the event. And some absolute legends they paired us with. Wow. All right, we're here with Garrett. What's up, happy Tuesday fans. <laughs> we're on the 18th hole. How about me coming in an hour and a half late today? Yeah, he went to the wrong golf course 45 minutes out of the way. I just made the biggest mistake. Yeah, tough. <laughs> they should have different name golf courses. Like that's way too close to have the same name. Knollwood and the Knoll. Yeah, really tough. I guess I guess they are different. <laughs> Health feels great, swing feels good, short game feels good. I can tell you right now, I am a better golfer than I was 20 days ago. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. <laughs> and I needed that rest because today represents the final and most important day of the whole challenge. Today I'm attempting to qualify for the New Jersey Open, which means open to both amateurs like myself and professional golfers who are competing for $25,000. There are 137 players in the field today and only 16 spots up for grabs. So if I want to advance, I'm going to have to bring my A game. After loosening up a bit, I was ready to go. Setting the tone early with an absolute bomb. Nearly driving this 340 yard par 4. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to convert the birdie. And to make matters worse, a poor tee shot on the second hole led to a quick double. Now being two over through two, I was ready to pack it in. But then I thought about all the work I just did and how unfair that would be not only to myself, but to you guys who I brought along with me. Making a birdie on the sixth hole and rounding out my front nine with pars, I knew I needed a good back to qualify. Let's keep it rolling. Bring on the rain. I'm ready for it. And with birdies on the 206 yard part 312. And another one coming after this up and down on the 16th. I knew a four on the 18th would lock up an even par 70 and basically guarantee me a spot in the field. But I definitely didn't make it easy on myself needing a two putt from just off the green. Let's go. One of the first groups in, so not positive I made it, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Right now we're in fourth place or so, but man, the hard work has been paying off, which is awesome to see. Um, we are still gonna do some tests and see if we really improved, uh, but I'm stoked right now. Couldn't be happier. Turned out that qualifier wasn't a fluke as I did better in just about every category. Improving by five shots on the iron test, five yards in the wedge test with hitting a shot 30 yards off, 
every aspect of putting, and basically every aspect of short game. I even improved physically being able to get 9 pull ups from a complete dead hang. The only things I wasn't able to improve on was the sit and throw exercise tying my previous score, the driver test only getting one in the green tent, and the push ups because I was hyper focused on not looking like a camel. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We are almost at 10K. And with your help, not only will my golf game continue to get better, but so will the videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bang. That's how you end it.